All right, y'all. News again here today. We're gonna, we're gonna do my reaction to Walking Dead's uh, season seven, episode ten. Um, it's called New Best Friends. We're gonna change up the format. I want to combine the reactions and the rambling reviews into a uh, rambling reaction and review. Um, we'll see how this works out. And well, well, ready. Let's get started. Diane. Got it. Good shot. For real, did she get it back? Don't think about it. <laughs> now us. Yes, Jerry. <laughs> I love Jerry. Um, yeah, it looks light. Perhaps you might look again, Gavin. Of course it's light. You met our obligations. It's always light when it comes to you bastard sayers. Or you said you were bombing. Oh shit! Got another crossbow. Why? Because we want the same things. I need your help. Okay, goddamn, we get it. There's a bunch of them. Move on. <laughs> I know, right? It's weird as fuck. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> they're like those kids from Beyond Thunderdome. They're, they're all waiting to go to Tomorrow Morrowland. 
Yeah. Oh shit. They did like a perfect like circle formation. <laughs> After meeting the kingdom of these people, you know at this point Rick's just like, okay, sure, <laughs> you're, you're, you're junk people. <laughs> got it. Wow. <laughs> I, whatever got you through this far. <laughs> the good things you took got taken. It's all them, so we took the rest. And we took him. Well, then you know we have nothing to buy back our lives with. And that's what you'll have soon. Nothing. Because me and my people already belong to that group who took those supplies from the boat. They're called the Saviors. They own our lives. And they're gonna own y'all lives, too. Fucking... You'll be taking something from them. They will come looking. You only have two options when it comes to the saviors. Either they kill you or they own you. But there is a way out. Join us. Join us in fighting them. Father Gabriel. Tamiel, Rayon. Show Rick up, up, up. <laughs> what the fuck? Up, 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 huh? Tomorrow, tomorrow, land, people. Tomorrow, tomorrow, land. It's okay. I know Michelle and I know. <laughs> wonder how long it took them to get their shit to look like that. Where are they taking him? Up, 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 you ain't here? <laughs> you went up, 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 wherever that is. Why does she look like He Man? Like Prince Adam. <laughs> Wow, look at that green screen. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. It is amazing. All of us, here since the change. grow harder. We open cans, sometimes inside's rotten. Time's passed. Things are changing again. So maybe we change. Maybe. You need to know you're real with this. That you're worth it. They do got a Thunderdome. <laughs> oh shit, they got a Thunderdome. Yes, let's get the keyboard. Oh! Oh, it's through 
his hand. Through his hand. Damn, Rick, you gonna get tetanus, bro? If you down there fighting a, a metal zombie and rolling around in the trash? Oh, fuck. Oh, tetanus. Tetanus all over the place. Oh, shit. Dude, grab the longer spikes, man. Throw that shit to the side or something, man. And give yourself time to figure out what you're gonna do. I mean, just because it has all that stuff on it doesn't mean it's still not a zombie. <laughs> yeah, cave this shit down on top of both of you. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> and the trash and get more tetanus. Oh. Damn it, Rick. <laughs> Damn it. And now they just. It, that's some amazing green screen. <laughs> Dude, you just made me fight this fucking zombie to go fucking find you guns? Like, what the fuck? My men are here clearing the wasted. The dead are quite inconsiderate when it comes to those who are wanting to be alone. I thought our efforts would be quiet enough to fall beneath your notice. You're the one who opened the door. Tripped my wire. Oh, oh really? Time. Sorry. If she wants to be left alone, why she keep opening the Don't door every time me. somebody comes up there? Ma'am, Ms. Mrs. You can shut up now. Copy. <laughs> Goodbye, Your Majesty. Uh, hold up. Cobbler. Kevin said you like it, just in case you did open the door.
someone showed me enemies can become friends. Remember when we used to hate Father Gabriel? We shouldn't be going back to Alexandria. We need to stay out and look for the guns for this deal. Rick is hurt. Aaron is hurt. I'm more nervous about what Eric will say if he sees my face like this again. <laughs> People back home need food. Rick wants to bring the supplies back and we regroup, so that's what we're doing. Then I'll go on my own. We're sticking together, and that's it. What is your problem? We're not looking for a fight right now, Rosita. We're getting ready for one. It's always a fight, Tara. I'm not letting anyone get in our way or slow us down. If we gotta stop people from taking from us, or we gotta take from other people, I don't care. We win. Club. You the one I have to fucking do. She's getting on my nerves. Soon. Soon. Or else. It's boots. Tamiel's boots, by the way. <laughs> They came. We got them all. Made a deal with the rest of them. Like Ezekiel. Everyone's all right. Of course the tiger likes Daryl. I'm going back to Hilltop in the morning. I'm getting ready. <laughs> got done watching the episode uh, yeah it was alright episode it was pretty good um, some things to think about going forward um, and this, this new junk the junkyard group the like garbage pail kids or whatever they're calling them whatever they're called the scavengers garbage pail kids whatever they're cool I weird it's like they've been we're like, what, five years into the zombie apocalypse? But these people have like they've been like in the apocalypse for like a hundred years now. <laughs> like, and it's kind of weird that their speech is degraded into this like weird thing that they do. The way they talk and stuff, especially my leader, that was her name, Jadis and stuff. But uh, yeah, I like how they remind me of like, I probably said this in the reaction to, to uh, they remind me of like uh, Beyond Thunderdome, like those kids out in the, in, uh, the oasis or whatever where they go to the tomorrow tomorrow land you know where they, like when that chick said we'll take rick to the up 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 <laughs> the up 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 and stuff and then they have they actually have their own goddamn thunderdome with <laughs> the fucking weird ass uh walker thing in there 
but that was a cool scene. Uh, the the seat, the the background, the the uh, CG and stuff, man, was oh, uh, like the green screen background where Rick was standing right there. You can so tell, dude, that that was not shot at the same time. But that's alright, man. It's just a TV show. I mean, what are you gonna do? But yeah, I like the, I'm digging the junkyard kids, though, the, the, the garbage pail kids. I'm digging them, man. Um, they are, they're not in the comics at all in any kind of way, so hopefully they'll add something, because now we have four groups. We have Alexandria, Hilltop, no, five. Alexandria, Hilltop, Kingdom, uh, Oceanside, and the, the garbage pail junkyard people. So... We can get all of them together, and you know, and this having said all that, we're going to uh, talk about uh, something that uh, Rick said to Tara in the episode. Remember how Tara, Tara promised that one girl back last season, well, at the beginning of the season, how she wasn't going to tell him about Oceanside, and they have all those guns and shit. So yeah, I think uh, pretty soon that Rick's going to meet the Oceanside women and stuff, and then he's going to have to fight a zombie made of sharks or something i don't know a sharknado zombie like the walking dead is veering like uh it's starting to veer, take a hard left into fucking z nation territory but i love z nation so yeah but uh yeah so yeah i think rick and then we're gonna meet oceanside here soon uh which brings me to richard like R richard's heart is in the right place but his head is isn't quite there yet. He's he's wanting to do this too hastily. Like if him and Daryl had went through what they did, even without the whole like getting Carol involved and stuff, man, if they'd have went through what they did, then like, dude, the, the Sabres would wipe out the kingdom because how long would it take for Rick and them to find out about it and then make their way to the kingdom to help when but when they got there, the kingdom would be wiped out. Like, Richard's head isn't there yet, but his heart's in the right place. But he's just too hasty about the shit and stuff, man. But, yeah, something's got to happen to make Ezekiel... I wonder... Like, something's got to happen to make Ezekiel, like, join the the war. And I have a, I have a theory about what that is. In fact, I'm going to do a video later on this week talking about that and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good episode. It was very weird. Some points with the junkyard, people sound like they just borrowed the soundtrack from uh, Stranger Things and stuff. But uh, yeah, um, try something new here with this uh, rambling review, uh, rambling reaction and review. If you like this video, uh, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and all that. And as always. I hate you, I don't even know you, and I hate your guts. I hope all the bad things in life happen to you and nobody else but you.